Okay, so now let us continue with the next subtopic, which is subtopic 1.26. So these are the learning outcomes for the subtopic 1.26. Okay, CERT. CERT consists of symbol, uh, properties, and rationalize. So these are the three main things that you need to know under the subtopic of CERT. So first, let us um, see what does it mean by CERT. So basically, Cert is a number expressed in terms of root sign and an irrational number. Okay, so, so for this one, we say it as nth root of a. Okay, n consists of positive integers. Okay, it must be positive. And then A can be any real numbers. Okay, so the examples of sets are, for example, if you have set 2, set 5, and set 7. But then if you have square root of 4 equals to 2, okay, and then if you have cube root of a uh, cube root of 27 and then if you press the calculator we know that this is equals to 3 okay if you have fourth root of 1 over 16 so this is equals to 1 over 2 and then if you have cube root of negative 125 so this is equals to ne negative 5 these examples are not considered as why? Because if you press the calculator, these numbers, this number or these answers are not in decimal numbers. Okay? Because we know this one, if you press the calculator, square root of 4, straight away you will get the answer is 2. No decimal numbers right here. Okay? So that's why it is not considered as sets. Okay? Because we need to know that cert must be irrational number. Irrational number means uh, the number must be in decimal. Okay, decimal, decimal number. Okay, or it must have points. Okay, so these are some examples on certs. Okay, so the first one, if you have cert 2, Set 2, when you press the calculator, this will give you these numbers. Okay, you can see that the point numbers right here continues until infinity. So, this is a set. The next one, if you have set 3, set 3, if you press the calculator, same, same to the set 2. Okay, because you have point numbers right here continues until infinity. So this is a set. Okay. And then set 4. So set 4 is equals to 2. So this is not a set. Set 1 over 4 is equals to 0 0.5. Also not a set. Because you have you just get 0 0.5 on D. And then cube root of 11. So you have this number. Okay. And then this number, the point numbers right here continues until infinity. So this is a set. Okay. The cube root of 27, this is equals to 3, not a set. And if you have the fifth root of 3, so you will get these numbers. Also, the point numbers continues until infinity. So this is set. So what we can conclude about set is that Cert is not only square root. It can be in any root. Okay, it's either cube root, fifth root, seventh root. As long as the number that we get from here is irrational. 
or you have a decimal number that continues until infinity. Okay, so that's why it is important that you need to know that thirds have a decimal which goes on forever without repeating. Third used to be another num another name for irrational, but it is now used for a root that is irrational. Okay, so these are the properties of thirds. So basically, we have six all together. The first properties of thirds is if you have third a times b, write it separately as set a times set b. For example, if you have set 24, so this is equals to set 4 times 6. So this is equals to set 4 times set 6. So the answer is 2 set 6. Second one is if you have set a over b. This is equals to set A over set B. So, for example, if you have set 25 over 5, write it separately as set 25 over set 5. Set 25 is equals to 5 over set 5. So, whenever you see the set in the denominator, so we need to rationalize. Rationalize means we want to eliminate the set in the denominator. So this rationalization we will learn in the next part. Okay, next properties is properties number 3. If you have nth root of a to the power of n, so this is equals to a. Okay, so for example, if you have fifth root of 2 to the power of 5 so this is equals to 2 right because the fifth root we can write it as to the power of 1 over 5 okay eliminate the 5 and 5 right here this will give you 2 to the power of 1 so this is equals to 2 this is how it works okay next one if you have m root of nth root of a so this is equals to m times n root of a okay so you can see the examples right here if you have set of cube root of 64 okay set is equals to square root okay so we change right here okay if it is not written right here, that means it is square root. Okay, so square root of cube root of 64. So you can multiply 2 and uh, 2 and 3 right here. So you can get 6 root of 64. Press the calculator and you can get equals to 2. So next one, if you have a set B plus C set B. We can factorize the set, the set right here. Okay, set B and set B. Take it out, and then you can just add A plus C. For example, if you have four set two plus seven set two, so factorize the set two, and then four plus seven is equals to. 11 set 2 okay so next one if you have a plus b minus c plus b factorize the set b and then minus a with c okay so for example this one if you have 6 set 3 minus 3 set 3 factorize the set 3 and then 6 minus 3. So 6 minus 3 is equals to 3. So 3. Okay, that's all.